Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about one of the newest archer heroes which is Zyda, which is a new style in terms of archer gameplay and at first we need to understand how you can generally get Zyda uh, as a free to play player. Whenever the new archer hero come out Zyda and Magrot. Magrot is available uh, from the strongest lord then as a free to play player it's almost impossible for you to get uh, the hero from the strongest lord because generally pay to win players are getting them. But in terms of lucky spins you can get Zyda from lucky spins and you will need like a uh, little bit of luck and a couple of thousand gems which you can easily get even if you are just simply gathering so you need, just need to collect 10 uh, tokens of the Zyda then you will be able to unlock her and after that whenever you unlock the new hero you can choose from the uh, VIP shop and you will be able to get one uh, token per day for the Zyda. Now in order for us to understand how you can use Zyda in many different hero pairs and in general how the style of the gameplay she has, we need to understand what kind of skill set Zyda has. First of all we need to say that there is no rage skill on the main skill and as I have mentioned many many times, uh, first skill always the most important skill of the any legendary and epic hero. Don't start unlocking the other skills at first, make the first skill 5 uh, level and and then upgrade the stars. So first skill of the Zyda, like it's a passive skill, when Zyda Legion deals normal attack damage, she gains like some kind of stack, which is, which is called downwatch, um, like downwatch marks for 5 seconds, maximum is 10, sec 10 stacks, and uh, like for the each stack you are getting normal attack damage bonus by 8% and also march speed. The second skill, when Zyda is launching normal, when Zyda's Legion reaches the maximum amount of downwatch, that's a synergy for the first skill, uh, you are getting additional damage deal bonus to 10% and also, which is unique in terms of marksman heroes, uh, healing received bonus is up to 20% and actually 20% is quite high uh, for the archer hero for the healing aspect of the game. Uh, third skill is pure passive skill, um, you are getting simply physical attack bonus to 30 percent a good number and yet again one more march speed bonus up to 10 percent the first skill when Zyda Le legion deals normal attack they have a 25 percent chance to get normal attack focus increasing their normal attack crit rate by 25 percent like in general i like the percentages like 25 30 uh, 20 in terms of healing uh, and like normal attack damage deal bonus to eight percent is quite a lot. In terms of awakening skill, Zyda Legion gains 3 stacks of down, down watchers mark upon entering battle, which means you will be able to use your main skill uh, pretty easily and more faster in order for you to get these buffs. So what we learned from the like observation and reading of the Zyda skill set is a quite new style of marksman. Like for example, before we had a skill damage factor with Nico and Kinara, Syndrome and Fragar was normal attack crit rate and and with Zyda, uh, she is normal attack healing uh, style of gameplay, which is the newest one and is pretty interesting. I like that the percentages are quite high, if we're gonna compare it to the other heroes, like 30% is great, 25% uh, crit rate bonus is amazing, and also the unique skill which Zyda has is that whenever she is receiving uh, healing, she is receiving 20% more. Now it's time for us to speak about uh, talents, where generally I think uh, in terms of hero powers, she can, she can be played as a primary and as a secondary hero, depending which kind of heroes you have in general, but let's say you are just like me and you have Zyda as a primary hero right which kind of talents you would be going the my, my talent choice is pretty simple marksman talent choice is great um, I went for marksman attack because like more attack you will have on Zyda is better because she is utilized with a normal attack 
fully loaded again normal attack damage bonus uh, attack bonus again with teddy shot here i chose bullseye uh, simply because of these tags and increasing of the attack uh, for 10 seconds after that we, if we're gonna see that uh, the choices from these three i like uh, ego is much more um, i don't really care about damaging the magic units because generally you are damaging like every single legion during the fights and here you have marksman unit hp that's a good one also to have but i went with the egoism because i wanted to have uh colossusness uh, because colossusness is giving you 2.5 percent uh, more attack bonus in terms of main talent like burst shot is great thing to have that's the generally play style i'm playing with but as always whenever i'm speaking about the talents of the heroes i always say that um, at first read what these talents are doing because you need to understand what you are upgrading and whenever you are upgrading and reading the talents you understand how you can generally play with the hero right for the second tree i will go with the mobility simply because zaida's play kit is giving us a lot of bonuses in percentages about the uh march speed and generally marksman units are one of the slowest units in the game so i think mobility will be pretty fine uh, to be upgraded in terms of talents here i'm trying to get overall speed and then i will go to the overall attack simply because of the attack bonuses now that's the talents which i'm using for zaidam i'm pretty happy about it and yet again i will repeat that don't just copy and paste uh, the talent trees of the other players or even mine at first understand what kind of gameplay do you play as the archer and uh, read the talents and then unlock the points because you have you should know what you are upgrading and not copying and pasting other people's talents right now the most important i think is the hero pairs for zaida and i will go i will start with the one of the most important ones and i think uh, generally when two new heroes come out and especially if they are same legion types they are generally great together right magrot and zaida is one of the best hero pairs currently in the game in season sub 2 uh, simply because if you're gonna compare it to the other ones like simply free to play uh, magrot and zaida with like at least 5511 and 5111 zaida is dealing almost same amount of damage as awakened syndrome and fragar now you can imagine how strong this hero pair is um like there is a big scenario energy in terms of healing and as i have mentioned like like the second skill is giving us 20 percent more but if you're gonna speak about margaret her, her play kit is all about healing and with healing you are getting damage bonuses and you are just simply unstoppable it gives you a lot of survivability it gives you a lot of bonuses in terms of like for example normal attack damage bonus 15 percent hp bonus 20 percent which is gonna make you stronger and tankier healing factor as i have mentioned zaida likes to be healed uh healing factor 200 again one more attack bonus 10 percent and here like healing rate five percent is quite a lot right and like generally uh, normal attack healing style is all about magrot and zaida uh awakening skill of the magrot is simply buffing you way more like 500 percent more variable healing can be triggered once every second it's just too overpowered to not to choose the magrot as a primary hero uh, with zaida and i think magrot should be the primary hero because uh, precision talent is the, just too good to not to miss right in general i think for the archer heroes uh, precision talent is the main talent you want to go unfortunately we don't have the precision talent on zaida and that's even another reason why i think magrot will be the best choice to pair zaida with if if you are just like me a free to play player who did not have enough luck to get magrat uh, from the wheel of destiny and you are not spending any money in the game to get magrat from the strongest lord there is one more option to play with zaida and that's making zaida as a primary hero and adding indies as a secondary hero let's find out why zaida and ingris is a great indies is a great hero pair first of all it's easy to understand healing factor works amazingly with zaida and also the additional buff which indies got in terms of damage factor x 600 i understand 600 might not be the a uh, lot a lot of number but you are just getting too much things from this main skill right like infirm damage taken 20 percent for three seconds well it's kind of got nerfed it was way 
more seconds but in addition we got 600 damage factor and what's important 450 healing factor i understand the gathering uh, skill is useless in terms of pvp but still you can use in this whenever you are gathering right in general i like in this because you're gonna make zydas legion way way more tankier maximum legion capacity bonus up to seven percent 20% more HP bonus, uh, counter attack damage reduction, and you don't want, you don't like to get a lot of counter attack damage to yourself while you are playing with Archer because your main damage type is physical, and also whenever you are getting counter attack damage back to yourself, it's also physical. And yeah, Awakening skill simply gives us one more second uh, for the infirm and why i think one more reason why indis is a great pair for zyda is that you can actually awaken indis pretty easily by the dragon trail and for every single free to play player indis should be the one of the first awakened heroes in the game because you will be doing that by just playing the game everything what i can see by the zyda's playstyle and in this playstyle i like it a lot that's how i'm actually playing this hero pair I like that Indis is giving me more tankiness in terms of Legion capacity, in terms of HP bonus, and what's the most important, Indis is giving me healing, which will, which is working uh, perfectly for Zyda, which gonna be like staying alive longer. And when your Archer is staying alive longer, it means that you are dealing more and more damage, and you are getting more and more merits. Now it's turn for me to speak about artifact and generally um, like new hero comes out there is also the exclusive artifact for the newest hero for in this case uh, Galded Crossbow is the exclusive artifact for Magrot and Zyda hero pair and uh, like for example for Zyda especially it's easy to understand why Zyda is like in his hands she has uh, the crossbow which is like the theme of the guided crossbow right uh, of course marksman pvp assault artifact marksman and uh, unit attack and legion attack great stats and in terms of skill uh, that's just too perfect to not to have right deals diffuse damage every second to up to three legions with the range uh, like hitting multiple legions as a marksman is already a great idea right and also increases your march speed by 40 percent you can move while this skill is active that's really important physical damage damage factor of 650 duration four seconds that's whenever you have one level the glittering bolt and also the most important thing about this artifact is that it increases your legion enemy legions enemy hp bypass by up to seven percent increases like it's same as a 0.7 percent of your highest buff stack count that's like already like one of the best uh, Marksman artifacts in the game imagine that you are bypassing the enemy's hp up to seven percent it will be working amazingly uh, with the against the units who has way more hp than you like especially infantry especially uh, cavalry and of course it will be working pretty well against any kind of legion type in the game let's say you are just like me and you want you were not able to get galled crossbow yet maybe we can do it in the future what would be the other choices to play with the uh, zyda well obviously any marksman artifact works for any uh, legion type any marksman hero pair like such as shadow blades which you can get from the normal pulls from the chests also really under Underrated uh, artifact, especially in the era of the long range warfare, is a Heart of Kamasi, which gonna give you more defensive stats than the uh, Shadow Blades. But I think uh, this artifact is still great. Uh, I like these stats, I like normal attack damage deal, and normal attack is the way of uh, for the Zyda tool damage. Also, physical attack bonus is 15%, which I like it a lot. In terms of other artifacts, I would not go with the Rattle Spear for the Zyda Legion because Rattle Spear, I think is more suited for the Nico and Kinara and in general I think whenever you are using Rattle Spear you are standing still and Zyda Legions likes to move around because she has way more march speed than any other uh, Archer hero pair. Uh, other artifacts 
which can be uh, totally fine for the Zyda Legion is of course uh, uh, Gold Crest. You can be playing with Gold Crest if you have, and but yet again, Gold Crest is like kind of exclusive artifact for Syndrion. But let's say you don't have any other choice, uh, it's much better to use Gold Crest on Zyda than using Rattle Spear. Uh, one more epic artifact which can be totally fine if you are playing with Zyda is Steel Heart Avenger. Uh, I like this artifact, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I don't have any other uh, like epic artifacts, which is newest one. The only thing I don't like with this artifact is that it gives you uh, hero skill uh, damage uh, deals uh, de dealing bonus, but we don't have hero hero skill on the Zyda. Uh, but like two percent more normal attack damage for 15 sec seconds. That's what I like it a lot about. Still hurt. I think we are already into the late game of the game, like already couple. Of of seasons are uh, behind us and i think you should already have a couple of marksman legendary artifacts which will be much much better choice than the epic ones but still if you don't have any other choice still a uh, health purser should be totally fine uh, that's like one of the basic marksman artifacts in terms of epic ones which we currently have in the game um, yet again try to get the gilded crossbow i will try it by myself whenever season ending rewards will be here because this artifact is just too good not to have it right next one is of course one of my favorite features in the whole game uh, which is uh, warpets and for the zyda legions i think there is two obvious choices one that's the sand lizard as i have mentioned before uh, zyda has a good synergy like especially magrot and zyda but in general we are speaking about zyda right now uh, she has great synergy with healing and i think sand lizard is all about healing Healing, right uh, that's the main idea why i think sand lizard is amazing for this hero hero and in general hero pair make it with the chain strike synergy because chain strike is generally synergy for normal attackers another uh, warpet which i think will be totally fine to play with the zyda is nitrock and i think nitrock is so good that you can use nitrock with every single hero pair marksman hero pair in the game uh, like simply because of the normal attack bonuses and crit rate we already mentioned that uh, Zyda has um, like crit rate bonus and buff on, on her fourth skill so still I think so far it's quite new hero for the Call of Dragons and that's why I think uh, Nitrock and Sand Lizard is the best choices depending on your playstyle. I, I actually think that in the future we are going to get more and more Warpets which gonna be uh, changing the Warpet meta of the heroes but so far I think there is not a better choice than Sand Lizard and Nitrock in terms of Zyda. Um, that's all I wanted to speak today about the legendary newest hero Zyda. Um, I like that for every single Legion we have couple of styles of the gameplay for example for marksman as i have mentioned we have nico and kinara with skill damage factor defense break playstyle with syndrome and fragar we have normal attack quit rate playstyle and with zyda and magrod um, playstyle that's normal attack healing that's the best synergy these uh, heroes are having so far i'm really excited about the feature of the call of dragons because uh, we are getting more and more styles of the um, legion types in the game and let's see what's gonna be the next one right i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you understood more about this legendary hero by watching my video if you like the content press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more more motivation to make content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck